Have you ever been faced with the problem of having to remember something? Perhaps something you were to buy at the grocery store? Or the answer to some examination question? Or the next step in a lab experiment? Or the name of a person you wanted to introduce? Yes, it is important to be able to remember. The thing I want to find out is how to remember. Names, dates, things like that. And something about them. Names and dates and something about them. Then there are really two types of remembering. Two types? Yes. Let me use the typewriter, Jeff. I'll show you. There is remembering in general, the idea of a thing. And there is remembering word for word, memorizing. Whenever you want to remember anything, you have to decide which you need to do. I get it. I remember word for word things like names, dates, formulas, and uh, vocabulary words for my French course. And I also remember the general idea of things like stories, lives of great men, and, and history. Right. And now you're ready to learn how to remember. That's what I want to find out. How? Well, Jeff, let's see. What's that book? It's a poetry book. Let's look at it. Stop. Let's hear you read the one on that page. The tide rises, the tide falls. The twilight darkens, the curlew calls. Along the sea sands, damp and brown, the traveler hastens toward the town. And the tide rises, the tide falls. Can you remember that much? I don't think so. Well, do you know what it means? No. Why don't you start by trying to get the meaning of the poem? What's it all about? Well, it's a... Uh, it's about the tide rising and falling. And what else? Better look at that poem again. The twilight darkens, the curlew calls. What about that? Oh. Well, it's, it's getting darker. And there are birds, curlews along the shore calling. Now I'm beginning to understand. Do you remember it? Sure. It's about a traveler walking along the shore at sunset toward the town. Good. Now that you understand, you do remember. Understanding is the first step to remembering. Let's put that down. How to remember. First step, understand the material. That is a good way to remember things. I'll make sure I understand anything I expect to remember from now on. But I'd still like to remember more than that about the poem. Well, let's look at it again. Notice the poem has three stanzas. We know the first stanza is about twilight along the shore. What about the second? Well, it, uh, it tells how it becomes night. And the third? Uh, what's the next morning? I see. It goes from twilight to night to the next morning. Well, that's sort of an overall view. And I remember more about the poem. Right. That's another step to remembering. We'll put it down, too. Get an overall view. Say, that does help to remember it. Now, as I read, try to picture what I'm saying. The tide rises, the tide falls. The twilight darkens, the curlew calls. Along the sea sands, damp and brown, the traveler hastens toward the town. And the tide rises, the tide falls. That part of the poem suddenly seems so real. That's because you visualized it, and that will help you remember, too. Try to visualize the things you want to remember. I think I can remember it now. Let's see. 
The tide rises, the tide falls. The twilight darkens, the curlew calls. Along the... Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh, sure. Along the sea sands, damp and brown. How can you remember that? Well, the beach we go to has damp brown sand along its shore. <laughs> I used to play in the sand a lot. Now, try the poem again. The twilight darkens. Twilight darkens. The curlew calls. Along the sea sands, damp and brown, the traveler hastens toward the town. Say, that helps. I'll remember the sand now. There's your next step in remembering. Form association. There are many aids to remembering. Notice in your poem how the last words rhyme. Falls, calls, brown, town. And see how many times the phrase, the tide rises, the tide falls, is repeated. These are all memory aids. You know another sort of memory association from your science work. Can you remember the colors of the spectrum in order? Red, orange, oh yes, Roy G. Biv. You make up a name out of the first letters of the colors. Roy G. Biv. Then you can remember the colors. That's right. This kind of association helps you remember. It sure does. But say, let me try that poem again. Um, along the sea sand, damp and brown, the traveler, traveler does something toward the town. I, I remember the idea. I can even see the picture, but, well, I just can't remember the words. Hastens toward the town, that's it. If I can just get past that, the rest comes to my mind. That seems to be a key idea. Maybe there are more of them in the poem. Let's look. How about twilight darkens, traveler hastens, darkness settles, morning breaks, day returns. Those seem to give the most help. I don't think I'll get stuck if I remember those key ideas. A good point. Pick out key ideas. This step is essential to efficient memorizing. Say, hey, following those rules, I can remember anything. Not everything. You must forget useless information so you can remember useful information more easily. Wait. Don't forget one last important thing. If you want to recall readily, you must repeat and use what you have learned. I guess you really have to know how to remember in order to remember well. These rules should help a lot. Let's see if I can remember the rules. Understand the material. Get an overall view. Visualize. Form associations. I've plenty of associations to remember those rules with. That typewriter going by itself will surely stick in my mind. Well, those four rules are important for remembering the general idea of something. When you want to memorize, there are two more steps. Pick out the key ideas, and then repeat the material frequently, using it. You know, I think I memorized that poem with those rules. Let's see. The tide rises and the tide falls. The twilight darkens, the curlew calls. Along the sea sands, damp and brown, the traveler hastens toward the town. And the tide rises and the tide falls. Using the same rules, Jeff went on to memorize the rest of the poem. And he learned to remember many other things. Now he no longer has trouble with names when he wants to introduce them. You'll find, too, that it helps in your studies and in your social life.
to learn how to remember.